Hey, good morning. How you guys doing today? I actually got to get out here to the range. I want to do a, a 22 long rifle uh, test with some different ammos. I got my uh, Ruger Mark IV Hunter. This is the one that uh, I got a Sig Romeo 5. Put a Volkortsen trigger and replaced the extractor and firing pin. Like I said, this is probably one of my favorite 22 pistols and definitely really accurate gun. But uh, I actually wanted to, originally what I wanted to do was uh, I got some of the uh, Aguila. These are the interceptors. These are the really hot ones. They're 1,470 feet per second. I wanted to test them against the Stingers. These are CCI's really hot ones, which these are faster. These are 1640, where these are 1470. But I kind of wanted to test these two head to head and... Uh, might see how they compare to the regular mini mags, which these are the uh, supersonic ones too. You can't see the feet per second right there, but uh, I think it's like 12, 13, something like that. But uh, I actually found these. I forgot that I had these. These are the uh, AR Tactical. So I might shoot a couple groups of those and see how they do. And then I found this one, some more Aguila. But, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the tripod up and I want to start first and test the, uh, the interceptors against the stingers. And then I might do a couple groups with some of the other ones, but uh, hopefully I can get some tight groups. So let me set the tripod up and I'll be right back. Okay, I loaded uh, 10 stingers in this one and I got 10 of the in interceptors in that one. I actually had to use this little thing, especially when it's cold comes in handy when you're trying to load these uh the magazines i paid like five or six might have been ten dollars on amazon but anyway i set up a uh, redfield target down there i'm gonna shoot the one on the right so i'll probably do five uh shot groups on each of the diamonds and then uh, i'll do the cci on the top and i'll do the interceptors on the bottom so let me set the tripod up Zoom out a little bit. All right. It's in the 30s today, so I'm kind of not really used to it. I should have wore a jacket, but oh well, I didn't. But I'm going to do the stingers first. I'll do those on top, and then I'll do the, uh, the Aguila interceptors on the bottom. I actually have the uh, the light spring in here, so hopefully it should work all right. But if it doesn't work good, I can switch over. I got the other spring in my bag right there. So. Okay, I'm going to do groups of five. I'm going to start on the top left. I cut the safety off. Okay, here we go. Interceptors. Shoot the two on the bottom. By the way, I'm at the 30-yard uh, line, 90 feet. But uh, this uh, 
This aguila is made in Mexico. Uh, this stuff always has a weird smell to it. I don't know if they're getting the powder different place or whatever, but uh, any of you guys shot, you probably know what I'm talking about. But uh, so I'll see how these two compare to each other. There's the stingers right there. That group might have been a little bit tighter. About a two inch group, I'd say. That one's about a three inch group. So two inch with the stinger right there, that's pretty good. And here's the Aguila. That's a little over a one inch group. And that's probably about a two inch group. So I got a little tighter group with the Aguila actually. So that's interesting. But uh, what I'll do is I'll set the tripod up down here and I'll try some of the uh, mini mags and some of those uh, AR tactical and uh, some of the other Aguila and see how they line up. Okay, got 10 of the mini mags right here. These are the target and then I got 10 of, uh, this is the bulk, this is a 38 grain and it's 1280 feet per second. So I think these two are pretty pretty comparable so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set the tripod up down there and i'm gonna shoot the uh target on the left and uh put those two head to head and uh see what the results are but uh, i'm gonna set the tripod up i'll be right back all right i'm gonna do the agila first this time i'm gonna do the agila on the top left do five uh, shots right there and then i'll do five more shots on the one right beside it and then on the bottom, I'll do the uh, CCI mini mags on the ones right below it. All right. All right, the Aguila right here. I did miss one down here, but uh, there's five shots. I think one, two, three, four, and then five. Right there is the Aguila. The mini mags, man, those are by far the best so far. Look at that. Five shots an inch from 30 yards. That's pretty good with just a regular red dot. And then the consistent... I got the second one about the exact same. So, so far out of all the ammos, the mini mag targets are definitely the best. But uh, what I might do before I wrap it up is do the, uh, try the, uh, the AR-15 tactical, do these two right here with uh, 10 shots and see if I can come as close as I did with the mini mags. I'm gonna show you something. The, I'm doing the, uh, the uh, AR tactical CCI, 1200 feet per second, 40 grain. But uh, I don't know why CCI, you got to do a better job of boxing these things. When you take this out, you got these cardboard pieces right here. 
and it makes it a pain in the butt to get the rounds out. But I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they didn't just individually do these like they do the mini mags. It would have been a lot better. But uh, I loaded up 10 rounds on here. I'm going to set the tripod up. And uh, what I might do is uh, I might just shoot all 10 this big target right here and uh but uh like i said the mini mags target man that's you can't get any better than that with a pistol from 30 yards in my opinion that's about as good as you're gonna do but uh, hopefully the ar tactical ones will do about as well so let me set the tripod up and i'll shoot this diamond right here from 30 yards all right All right, like I said, you probably heard uh, one of them didn't eject, but I just racked it and it worked. Could be the lighter spring, but uh, anyway, if it wasn't for those two, they've been a uh, pretty tight, about a little over an inch group. But uh, there you have it. That's the uh, AR tactical, and uh, theirs was the. Uh, the uh what was the first one i shot yeah these are the stingers right here the stingers which that was a pretty decent group with the stingers the stingers aren't going to be as accurate as the mini mag target but uh they're a lot hotter and here's the agila down here which it's all pretty good i mean i like all of it it all runs good through the mark four it's definitely it's not match it's not meant for that but uh it's definitely some good ammo but Anyway, guys, it's cold out here. My hands are numb, so I'm probably going to wrap it up. But uh, there you have it. If you can get a hold of the uh, the mini mags, all of those have always been awesome, especially through the Ruger Mark IV. You definitely can't go wrong with those. So anyway, y'all have a good one later on.